Are you ready for me to show you how I make my ultimate game day chili? And yes, this chili has beans in it. Let's get started. First thing we want to do to get our chili started, I went to the grocery store and got three pounds of chili ground meat. And then I got one tube of Williams Hot Country Sausage. I've also got two good size onions diced up and one jalapeno de-seeded. Now you can leave the seeds in it, you can leave the jalapeno out of it. This is gonna be kind of a spicy chili and so it's completely up to you of how spicy you make it. Remember, taste it, add to. Don't just keep on adding because it's gonna get hotter as it cooks. So I've got my 10 quart Lodge cast iron Dutch oven heating up. First thing I wanna do is get a little bit of oil in the bottom of it and start sauteing these onions and jalapeno. Now you just wanna sweat your onions down for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna add my ground beef and also my sausage. All right, our onions have been sweating down for about four to five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get one pound of Williams Hot Country Sausage. You can always use mild. I'm using hot today for that little bit of added extra kick. Now we're gonna go in with that chili meat. Now the difference between regular ground beef or ground chuck and chili meat is they put a different head on the end of the grinder and it comes out a little bit bigger. And so it gives you a little bit, a little bit more texture or chew in your chili versus regular ground beef. It's typically fine to use regular ground beef if you want to. Our local grocery store has chili grind, so of course I got chili grind. Now this is gonna take a few minutes, just take your time, stir it around, take a breather, maybe drink a few sips of beer, keep stirring it until all your ground beef gets done. Now, I'm gonna drain my ground beef. I've not added any seasons or anything. It's got a little more liquid than I like. Turn on my hot water on my outdoor sink because I'm not concerned with it. And just gonna get some of this liquid out of here. I may not pour all the ground beef out. Let's make some chili. Once you get your meat drained, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut this off here. I don't need it to keep cooking right now. I'm gonna add two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. I'm gonna add two 15 ounce cans of fire roasted diced tomatoes. I'm gonna add a can of diced tomatoes that's chili ready. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. Now that we've got that mixed up, we're gonna add one more can of chili ready diced tomatoes. Now, once you get all that mixed in, it's time to give it a seasoning. Now the first thing we want to do, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic jalapeno rub. Now I've got my good friend Matt Pittman's chili seasoning here. I'm going to use four tablespoons of this chili seasoning, four heaping tablespoons. All right, let's get this stirred in. Now I'm going to turn my eye back on here, get it going on low. Now. As that's cooking, I'm gonna add two cans of chili beans. It's got the mild chili sauce in it. This is totally optional. If you wanna add this, it's totally up to you. I do a lot of chili with no beans. I actually prefer chili with no beans. But I'm making this for a crowd. I want a little bit of a filler in it. And I'm gonna be honest, a little bit of beans goes a long way. So I only use two cans to about four pounds of meat. Now, once we get those chili beans in there, we're gonna come back with a little W Sauce Fire Shire. I love the amped up flavor that this Fire Shire gives it and the W Sauce in general. I'm gonna add a good tablespoon of that in. You know what, let's make it two. Couple tablespoons of Fire Shire. And we got one more secret ingredient. I purchased some beef broth to use, but we're not gonna use beef broth. Good old gold top. All right, a little bit of beer. Now, I'm gonna let this come back to a rolling boil, and then I'm gonna throw it on my Traeger, and I'm gonna leave it alone for a few hours, let it get a kiss of smoke, let this chili simmer down, 
<laughs> and it's going to be time to make a bowl. All right. My ultimate game day chili is over here on the Traeger Ironwood XL now. We've got some Royal Oak charcoal pellets in here. I kind of let it almost come to a rolling boil over here on the eye. I'm fishing a shut the grill lid. Give it about three hours before I look at it. Let's get in here and look at it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's going to be some good chili right there. All right, our chili is finally off of our Traeger Ironwood XL. It had a total cook time of about four and a half hours. You can go a little longer if you want. This chili, I can tell y'all, it has just sat there and just rendered down. Oh, the consistency is dead on the money for me. A little bit of beans, like I said. My wife's a bean eater, uh, so I put some in there, uh, but not a lot. And I've got me a little bit of sour cream, some shredded cheese, and of course some onions. All right, just to recap this chili here, we took a tad over three pounds of ground chili meat, two diced onions, a pound of Williams hot sausage. We come back with a little bit of fire shower in this, a diced jalapeno. We got everything rendered down and we started adding all of our cans of stuff. We added tomato sauce, fire roasted tomatoes, two cans of Bush's chili beans, and of course, that good old gold top. Now, before we added that beer in there, you know we added a little bit of chili seasoning in there. And we're using our good buddy, Matt Pittman from Meat Church Barbecue today. I can tell you, this is only my second time using his chili season. It's a great chili season if you guys were looking for something a little bit different. Texas inspired, Matt does one heck of a job on all of his videos and his seasonings. We also happen to sell them on our website. Really good friends, and Matt sells our stuff in his store and everything. I can tell y'all, I can't wait to get in here and try this chili. So let's get some scooped up and give it a try. Now, you know you gotta top it with a little bit of onion, and I'm gonna come back with a little bit of cheese, and you know I'm gonna do a good old dollop of sour cream. That looks like some good chili to me. Let's eat. Oh, it's going everywhere. Kind of overfilled at my bowl. Y'all, this right here, it screams outdoor, weather, fall, winter, and friends. This right here is some really good chili. You guys need to run the store, buy stuff, and make it. You will not be disappointed. This is really good. I gotta get one more bite, y'all. Mmm, that is so good. If you like what we're doing here on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video. But for now, I gotta eat some chili. <laughs>